All right, we're looking at equations today and how they get numbered in org mode. So here I have an equation, it's labeled one, and here we use a custom tag to change that. But if we have another equation down here, it's also labeled uh, as one or numbered that way. In fact, all of them are, they all start at one, which is confusing when you lecture, uh, you can't really refer easily to equation one. So what we're gonna do is look at a way to change this so that these are uh, say numbered four, five, six, seven, uh, this would be eight and so forth. So the problem is these are created independently by taking the little fragment, sticking it in a tech file and using dvipng to pull it out. So what we're gonna do then is figure out a way to insert this little bit of, of LaTeX code that would change the numbering for each one uh, and do that in a way that allows us to get the numbering. So I make a function here. Uh, this is going to be an advice function, so it, it will advise uh, the image created function. And then what we do is map through the buffer, get all the LaTeX environments, and try to figure out uh, which number it should start with. So we just keep track of a counter, and we look for non-tagged equation environments and align environments. We look for all of the line breaks that uh, are numbered, provided that they don't have a no number in them, and we just keep track of them. And so anytime we get a number, then we just insert this line into the string, and then we uh, call the original function to do it. So this turns on the advice. Let's come back up here, turn these off, get rid of the old ones, and turn the back on. So now what should happen is this should be labeled 1, this will be E1, no label, and this should start at 2, and then it should go down 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We'll give it a, a few seconds to show up. So here we have our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now a little... Uh, point to, to remember is that org mode caches the image so that it doesn't do unnecessary work. And since this equation is exactly the same as number one, it has a counter of nine, but it actually overlays the first image on top of it. I don't know what we can do about that. Uh, don't repeat your equations and it won't be a problem. So that's it. Uh, if you don't like uh, the numbering scheme, you can turn the advice off uh, like this.